I'm Ria. We just had our 10X Owners Live meeting with Brandon Dawson. And here are my 22 lessons learned on today's topic, the core values of a billionaire. Lesson one, Elon Musk's success. Elon is the maker of Tesla. He has the commitment and it's a grind and it exemplifies all in it. And so now he's worth a lot of money and people can take jabs at him, but you got to respect Elon's commitment. And that's what I think a lot of business owners, they're not really committed, not really committed. They want to win. They want to make good money, but they're not really committed because to be really committed, you got to recognize your own strengths, your weaknesses, and do something to improve upon them if you really want to work. Lesson two, hardcore work ethic. Hardcore work ethic is the first core value. Lesson three, the second core value is the talent to build things. Lesson four, our picture has to be big and we have to get to be committed. And otherwise, if we're not, then what happens is we hire lower level people than to don't have a big picture of success. And then you have big people issues you outgrow. Lesson five, Brandon says, I don't spend a moment talking to a drainer or a watcher. And there's nothing worse than intellectually ignorant and intellectually arrogant. Intellectually ignorant or intellectually arrogant. They present themselves as they're always right, or they talk and don't ask any questions. They challenge everything. Why? Because it's a defensive mechanism to try to prove somebody wrong. Lesson six, a drainer. Drainers are people who need to take something away in order to validate their inability to create the result. It's a natural defense mechanism. Everything is it all happens to them and it's always happening to them that they're a victim of circumstance. Lesson seven, COVID. COVID exposed a lot of weaknesses we already have. The question we have to ask ourselves is, how is it that when you talk to some business owners, they're like, my business was struggling and the COVID hit and then I blew up. Hmm because you thought you're going to lose what you had, so you went after results with tenacity because you found something in the marketplace where you can make it work. Lesson eight, majority of the business owners act like drainers and they create drainers and they do that by abdicating. So they hire somebody, hey, I need you to take care of this and make it work. And then they go do something else for the business. They don't help you. They don't assist you. They don't get you the training. And then they don't align you. So you're out doing it. And then they're like, what are you doing? And then they eventually frozen with fear because he doesn't know what to do. If he knew what to do, he wouldn't be working for you or he'd be doing it by himself or he'd be doing it for somebody else. Lesson nine, we create drainers by the way we engage team members. And so what you got to do is you have to be the highest example. Lesson 10, and when you ask a question, can you motivate a drainer? Brandon says, well, First of all, no human being can motivate another human being. You can encourage them, but you cannot motivate them. They have to have the internal motivation. Lesson 11, are you being the best version of yourself? Because if you're not being the best version of yourself and you're cramming down on your people or you're not aligning them, you're not assisting them, you're not helping them, then you are creating drainers in your own organization. Lesson 12, your job is to have a business system and to have enough process. 
enough encouragement and enough training in place? Lesson 13. I know right away if I hurt somebody and I tell them, look, our core philosophy here is everyone trains in the team. Every morning, every leader needs to train and be an example. We're a training organization. We're a development organization. We develop human beings before we do anything else. Because if our human beings do not grow, the business cannot grow. Then you come to work. If you don't train, if you do not log in, and I come to you and I'm like, hey, I noticed you didn't train this way. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got so much new stuff. I forgot. And then you say, great, no problem. Hey, but let me sit with you tomorrow. I'm going to come train with you and I'm going to show you how this works. And I get in there and we train for two or three days. I'm like, you got this, you got this. And then I go and you're disengaged and then you don't train. Then bye-bye, you're out. Lesson 14. And if somebody is not aligned, if like for a lot of business owners, they complain about their employees, but then when you ask those same business owners, what are your core values? What are you driving for? They don't have any. So how can you align somebody with something that they're not even familiar with is important. Lesson 15. And have rituals. And those rituals help remind people of what those core values are. Because yes, you can say to them, and they can even sign an employee agreement that hasn't been there. But if you're not living at it, if you're not authentic, and you're not reminding everybody of what you're focused on, and when you're not When you're going, you're not going to have the same kind of impact. So it is really important to have everybody on the same page that it comes from how you answer the phone calls to how you treat your customers to what your goals are to what your KPI, key performance indicators are. Lesson 16. There's sometimes companies that have a lot of secrecy. And the more secrecy you have, the less engagement you're going to have from the employees. The more you can let them own their position and feel ownership and and what they're going, being entrepreneur within their business, and they feel contributing to a bigger pool, and they've got something that they can agree to they understand the core values. They believe in them and then they can focus on delivering. And as a process, that needs to be reaffirmed on a regular ongoing basis so that everybody is singing the same song. Lesson 17. That's how you're going to create an incredibly big business because That curiosity is what keeps you going because business solve big problems and serve solutions and always go back to your initial issue when you're having a bad day. What's the problem you solve? What's the need to serve? How can I do it better? And find the right people to ask that question and find you're in the right room to ask those questions. Lesson 18, be intellectually aware and be intellectually curious. Lesson 19, it's in the trying you find the breakthroughs. It's in the trying that all breakthrough happens because if you stop trying, nothing happens. Instead of being a victim of trying and having resistance and friction. Lesson 20, Keep trying until you figure out how to break through it and then teach others to do what you just did because that's the gift. Lesson 21. Three questions to ask anybody you're going to get any of that data from. Question number one. 
What's the most amount of money you've ever made in a year? Second question, what's the biggest thing you've ever built? And how many employees do you have? Third question, what's the most amount of money you've ever made on an exit? Hmm. Three good questions to ask. Lesson 22, true leadership is making other people's success easy. Lesson 23, Elon Musk's four core values, responsibility, innovation, common sense, and trustworthiness. So those are my lessons learned. I hope you learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can also get my book, Apartment Prescription, in Amazon and Kindle. Take care. God bless.